All right, we're going to recap. We started yesterday actually with our explore. Remember? And then we left this last problem and we have not finished it yet. We will come back to it. Okay, then we introduced what our content objective was. Our content objective is I can solve one and two step equations and verify that my answer is correct. What is the difference between an equation and an expression? Go ahead, sir. The equal sign. An equation has an equal sign. An expression does not. Okay, then we learned the checking process. I pet away, please. We learned the checking process. We learned that we had to do, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which is what mathematically? Which is what? Exponents. Very good. That's the order in which we're going to do all our checks. Then we moved on and we talked about inverse operations. What does the word inverse mean? Opposite. 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 So if I say add, you would be say yeah. subtract. Yeah. If I say multiply, you would divide. If I say divide, you would multiply. And if I said an add, you would subtract. I think I already said that one. But it will. Okay. Inverse operations. Do we have to know these? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then we went on and we started balancing equations. Do you remember this? Okay, we only did one step. We even did some with fractions. Am I going to expect that you can do some with fractions, decimals? Bet. All right, so now we have one left to finish on our own, and then you guys are going to do some. What operation is being done right here? So, so what are you going to do? What's the inverse? All right. Inverse operations what? What do they do? Cancel out. Inverse operations cancel. Now, if you remember my teeter-tot story, teeter-totter story, whatever you do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I have to multiply this side by 3. Guys, remember, this is being recorded. Stop. I'm going to say it on video. I expect a lot more out of the algebra class right now, and you're kind of proving me you can't handle it. Okay. X is left on this side. This is a negative. A negative times a positive is a negative. negative. 12 times 3 is 36. 36. So here's what I'm saying the answer is. Now I need to check it. Everywhere I see an X, I'm going to replace it with negative 36. Okay. What is negative 36 divided by 3? Negative 12. So, since they matched, what does that tell me about negative 36? It's true. Okay, down here are two problems that you are going to try on your own. Don't forget to do the checks. You can use the previous four problems that we did to check your work.
Okay. I hate short days. All right. So we started here. What should I do? What operation is happening right now? Divide. So what am I going to do? Inverse operations do what? Whatever I do to one side. X equals? Very good. So now I'm going to check. 60 divided by 12. Does that equal 5? Yes. So notice they match on both sides. If I don't write that 5 there, that is an incomplete check. I'm going to write something off to the side. Do not write this down. This is a mistake I see a lot. Why do you suppose that happened? Correct, because of the negative sign. Very good. But remember, it's called inverse operation, right? So what operation is being done here? And how do you undo multiplication? Division. So do we see that this is not correct? So this is gone. Wrong. Do you see how people can think that, though? Yeah, pretty easily, especially when you're going quick. So if this is negative 3 times x, what are we going to do? Divide by negative 3. Inverse operations. Cancel. Whatever I do to one side. X equals 7. Because a negative divided by a negative is a? Okay. So now I check. Negative times a positive is a? Negative. So then 3 times 7 is? When I start throwing in negatives, you're really going to have to pay attention because that is probably the number one place I get a lot of people get it wrong. Yes, sir? How do you know it's a negative? Because it's right in front of it. And I'm going to show you an example to where, uh, okay, so I'm going to write this out because this actually, you guys think that's a weird question. It is actually a very amazing question. Here's why. When we get into two-step equations, if I have 5x minus 4 equals 20, Okay, which that's going to come to a decimal, so we'll do 19. No, 21, because it's an addition. Okay, anything you can box in in front of the number. So if I box that in and you only looked at what I boxed in, that's all you're looking at is what I boxed in, what's that number say then? Exactly. Now if I don't look at what I'm boxed in and I read this sentence, what does it say? Oh, now you said minus so, not negative. A minus sign and a negative sign get treated equally in a problem. That's why I will start to teach you to box it in, and I will ask you, what's in the box? Negative 4. Even though it was minus 4, it's still the same thing, because here's why. You're starting at 0, right? And if I'm minus 4, where am I? Negative 4. Okay? So it's going to be a learning curve. Trust me, okay? All right. Flip the page. We are now switching gears from one step to two step. Two step equation. Everything still applies. So inverse operation. You're still doing the inverse operation. Your inverse operations still cancel out. Whatever I do to one side, I'm still doing to the other. All that stuff still applies, okay? I want you to write this over here off to the side so we have room to work with it, okay? I want you to write that off to the side so we have room to work. Okay. We're always going to get rid of the one without the variable. What's a variable? The letter. The letter. So we're always going to get rid of the one without the variable. Now, and we're looking on the variable side. Does this have a variable over here? No. So I'm not looking at that side. I'm looking at this side. Which one doesn't have the variable? The 8. The eight. Oh, okay. The 8. Very good. So look in front of it. How am I going to get rid of it? Plus 8. Plus eight. You can, 
Yes. Inverse operations. Cancel. Whatever I do to one side. So I have 10.8 over here. Do you agree? And what do I have over here? 9x. Now, question. Have you seen something like this already before? Yes. Yeah. That's a one-step equation. So we're going to do one thing, and we'll be right back to something you already know. Hence, it's called a two-step equation, because you have to do two things to get to the answer. Okay? All right, so what would, is, what would you recommend I do to get x alone? Divide, because it's the inverse operation. What happens to my nines? Cancel them. Whatever I do to one side. So x equals? So 10.8, what'd you get? Should be like 1.2, isn't it? 1.2? That's what I thought. Okay, so I'm not going to always give you ones that are just straight out. I mean, you're going to have decimals. You're in algebra now. And now I'm going to check. I like using decimals because then you can't just look at it and say, oh, this is the answer. 9 times 1.2 minus 8 equals 2.8. What am I going to do first? Mol, mol, this is I now I gotta follow PEMDAS. So I'm gonna do multiplication. Nine times one point two. Ten point eight. Do I have to rewrite this whole thing again? Yes, just like that. You solve one thing and rewrite. Ten point eight minus eight. What do I get? 2.8 equals 2.8. Okay. Not terrible, right? All right, let's go to the next page. Okay, we're going to write it off to the side again. We're going to get rid of the one without the variable. So what is that? It's the plus one, so how am I going to get rid of it? Inverse operations. Whatever I do to one side. So negative 5, take away one more, gives you? Okay. What is this operation? Division. Division. So what are you going to do? Inverse operations. Whatever I do to one side. So what does x equal? Have I added a lot? No. OK, let's do our check. Negative 5 equals negative 24 over 4 plus 1. The, now I have to do PEMDAS. So I'm going to do division first. Negative 24 divided by 4 gives me? I rewrite my problem. Negative 6 plus 1? So since they equal the same amount, 
What does that tell me about my negative 24? It's right. If these two were to not equal, what would that tell me? I made a mistake somewhere up here, right? And I better go back and look at this. So if these two don't equal, I probably made a mistake somewhere. Okay. I'm going to give you a few minutes. I want you to try these three. Don't let A confuse you. Is that six positive or negative? Oh, so what are you going to do to get rid of it? Minus, minus it. Is that 4x? It's minus 4x. Positive, positive or negative? Negative. 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 So you got to make sure you keep that negative with the 4. If you want to talk with a group, you may talk with your table group. If you want to, go ahead right now, kind of share what you're doing. See if somebody else has figured out something that you haven't. Go ahead. So the four is negative. Yeah, so it's already negative one times x, so you're going to add five to get rid of it. Go ahead and talk with your group. Kind of show what you're doing. Wait, negative four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Does that sound fair? Negative ten. It should be negative ten. Negative forty divided by negative four. Positive ten.
Okay. How about three more minutes? Does that sound fair? I'm going to draw your attention back up here. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with this one. I'm going to draw my line down the middle. This is a positive 6, so how am I going to get rid of it? Minus 6. Inverse operations do what? Cancel. Whatever I do to one side, oops, didn't read it right at that, minus 6. Negative 34, take away 6 more. Negative 40. If I were to box this in, do you see that I still have a negative in the front? So that needs to come down. Now what? Divide by four. negative 4. Inverse operations. Divide by negative 4. X equals positive 10. So when I check this, I, that kind of was where I had most of the questions, was checking. What should I do first? 6 minus 4 or negative 4 times 10? Negative 4 times 10, which gives me negative 40. 6 take away 40 is negative 34. Yes, sir. Is there a second way to do that too? No. 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 Because, that's a good question. Here's why. Here's why. If I were to do plus 6 before this, okay, please quit tapping, guys. If I were to do plus 6 before this, is that going to cancel out to 0? It's going to go to 12. And then I would have that. I'd have this then, which is that going to help me? Nope. Okay, let's take a look at this next one. What would I get rid of first? How? Minus, minus, minus 11. Inverse variations, or inverse operations cancel. Whatever I do to one side. Sidebar conversations need to stop. Okay, what operation is this? So what are you going to do to get rid of it? 
x equals? 30. So for me to check, I have 30 divided by 5 plus 11 equals 17. What should I do first? So 30 divided by 5 is? 6. Plus 11 would give you? So far, give me uh, this is mean I've got them all right. I'm doing good. This is and I've made a few mistakes, and this is I have no clue what I am doing. Okay. 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 Got them. Okay. Thank you. All right. Last one. Here we go. I'll wait. What am I going to get rid of first? How? So, inverse operations cancel. I have 5x equals negative 5. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. x equals? So we check. Five times negative one is? Add back one would give me? Hey, remember that explore? Get it back out. We'll get there. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, in our explore, I posed a question for you. I wanted to know how many pounds. Uh, what was it? Sweet salt, water. salt water taffy. And we didn't really know how to do this yet, did we? Not really. Some people were throwing in numbers. We knew it had to be less than one pound, right? So some people were throwing in 0 0.9, 0 0.8. We're just trying things. Is there a better way to solve this now? Yes. Try it. See if you can figure out how many pounds of salt water taffy she is able to get now knowing what you know how to solve these. What are you going to do? What are you going to get rid of first? The, the one without the variable. The one without the variable. So 3.65. How are you going to get rid of it? You're track. Good. So go back to your explore. That's where we are. Very bottom one. And solve it. Figure out how many pounds of saltwater taffy she could buy. Do we know it's going to be less than one? Yes. Yes. Who? Richard. That's a lot. That's a lot. Can I go to a 0.8? time here. I've only got about two minutes. Okay, so what would we get rid of first? So which is which one? And how am I going to get rid of it? Subtract. And, excuse you, algebra, I'm not going to keep telling you every day that I shouldn't have to tell algebra to be quiet. Inverse operations cancel. I come over here and I do the exact same thing. When I subtract this, what am I left with? 8 point, 8 point what? 3, 3, 5. And over here I have $9.99 P. So what do I do? We already know this is not going to be a whole number. What do I get that P equals? 8, 4, yeah, 8, 3, because it was 8, 3, 5, right? So the 5 makes the 3 round up to a 4. So I can buy 0. 0.8, 4 pounds. So should we check? We're not going to have time. But yes, we should check. But I have 45 seconds left of class. So go ahead and put this away.